Yo, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna get back on the uh, the Jeep engine, finish tearing it apart. Now I've been under the weather for the last few days, so I could I could have got this done a while ago, but I just couldn't do it. Uh, but other than that, we're gonna get started on pulling that apart just to check out the bearings, the main bearings, the crank, to see if make sure that it's still okay. Uh, it does spin freely but I wanna double check the conditions of them to see if I actually have to get the crank uh, grind down or anything like that, cause it should be, uh, I didn't bring my uh, uh, micrometer to see if it's a, a standard size or 10 over. Uh, basically, you just measure it and see what the measurement is and then just look online and see what a stock crank measurement should be and then you could go from there to see what the actual size is. So I'm hoping and also on the back of the, on most of them, back of the bearings, it will actually tell you if it's uh, 010 or just standard size. Uh, 010 is basically 10 over. So I'm hoping that it's just, it's, it'll be fine either way, but I'd rather have it standard and uh, finish tearing that apart so we can see what they actually are. Uh, so let's get jumping on that real quick to see uh, see if I can actually get, <laughs> I brought the tools to, to uh, take that harmonic balancer off. This time I didn't forget them and I didn't forget my impact gun last time I did. So hopefully I could get able to uh, take the rest of this apart so I can get up to my buddy Scott's to see if we can uh, um, uh, hot tank it and clean it up real quick. So let's get started.
right, look at this. This little, like, uh, let me see if I can focus in on it. It's like a chain guard, or so it won't hit the timing cover. Sorry, it's kind of cold if I'm having a brain for it. But you can see here, it's broken. So that's no bueno. So if I would have just put this out the junkyard and tried and started it, this would have been a problem. That's why it's best to take it apart. If you can, if you can't, then that's understandable. Alrighty. All right, so the next thing I want to take part is the caps so we can pull out the crank. It's very simple. Let me turn it around so you guys can get a better look. Uh, come on. There we go. And we're going to zip these off the same way that if we was putting it in. I usually start from the center and out. And here's one of my uh, rod bearings. Let's see here. It's an another one. All right, so if you're pulling the caps off, they are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can't get them mixed up unless you don't look at the numbers. So I'm just gonna pull them off here. We're gonna set them to the side, and then we go check out those, uh, those bearings. Let's take a look at them real quick. Just so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So, this is the top, basically, uh, where the uh, crank goes. So, if you see here on number one, it's shiny there, so it's been riding hard on the front, which is kind of normal. And then the second one is almost the same way, but then it starts getting lighter and lighter, well, basically not as worn as bad. Um, that one there looks a little weird. Uh, I'm not going, not sure what's going on there. But then that one looks normal, nice and clean. And then that one should have a little shiny because that's where all the weight is at. So they look pretty good. Let's uh, take a look at the crank. Let me grab a rag first. The crank looks pretty good. Let it focus in real quick. Come on. 
guess it doesn't want, oh, there it goes. Everything looks normal there. Stop touching it, because then it get out of focus. Nothing too bad. Let's check out some of the uh, caps here. So I took my gloves off. I don't want to touch it too much because it's oily. Uh, let me see a white one off. Somewhat. That looks good there. Let's see if it'll focus. So, anyway. Uh, everything looks good. Now I need to get the uh, cam out, pull the rest of these bearings out. Uh, no, I'm actually gonna leave them so uh, my friend Scott can take a look at them. Uh, so he give it the okay or yes or no or maybe so. I'm gonna leave them in there so he can take a, a gander at them too. Make sure that they are uh, all right. Uh, other than that, let's uh, get that camshaft off. Alrighty, so we just have to remove this bolt here and this one to remove the plate and then we can slide the cam off. You want to take this out as smooth as possible. Usually I use a sledgehammer. All right, there we got the cam out there. This part, this low, uh, this part here, here is where the cam, uh, cam bearings ride on. And you can see they look absolutely perfect because that's where it normally rides and it touches all the time. And I like that you don't have to pull out the cam if you didn't want to. I like to pull it out to check the bearings and also have, have uh, my friend Scott take a look at them to give them the okay or yes, no. Because sometimes you don't have to replace them. Uh, in this case, they look all okay. They actually look really good from, from here. I mean, I, I did hit them a little bit, taking them out, which is gonna happen. You're not gonna get it out perfect. But they actually they look really, really good. I'm very happy with that. Very happy. Alrighty, I guess that's it. All right, so the, uh, the next thing I wanna do is just basically get this loaded up in the back of the truck. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to, oh boy, I didn't want to, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get my engine hoist out because that thing, that block weighs two times more than I do and I can't lift it. I mean, I could deadlift it, but only for a second. <laughs> so, so uh, I'm gonna go to get the engine hoist out so I could get that in the back and uh, we go from there.
All right, so that'll do it for today. It's just a quick short video. I just wanted to wrap up the last part of that, that engine. The next part will be rebuilding it. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you guys with the other part of pulling a, that, I still haven't pulled the long block out. The, um, the Jeep itself, I haven't pulled it out yet. Cause once I pull, I have to pull it out this week cause I have to take it back to, take the old one to the junkyard and get my core charge, uh, my four dollars. <laughs> Cause that's how much it is for the core. So I'm gonna get the $40 for the core and I got a, a bunch of other miscellaneous parts which is another 50 bucks. And then I have a certificate for the junkyard for $20 off of anything in a junkyard I want. So I am definitely need some more parts for the Jeep. So that's definitely what I'm gonna do. So uh, until then, the next video will be on reassembling this. I'm hoping that I can at least order the rebuild kit maybe this week. Try to get it cleaned up this week, uh, the actual block and start putting it together maybe in the following week. So I'm hoping to do that. If it does not work out that way, I need to jump back on a CTS, which is over there. I need to get her back. I need to start getting on her a little bit more. Um, with the CTS, the torque converter is still on back order from Circle D. That's, that's been on back order ever since I, I went to tr try to order it. Well, let me put it this way. I, I had ordered it and then they sent me an email stating that it's on back order. And I just checked it this morning and it's still on back order. And um, they said they'll notify me once, once it's, cause it has to be built. So once it's built and ready to go, then they, they send it out to me. Uh, BTR, uh, Still haven't made the cathedral, cathedral, I can, sorry, I can barely say it. The cathedral, uh, Trinity intake manifold. Uh, I, at one point I was just gonna go with the LS3 and just put the adapters on, but I'm trying to hold out. I'm trying to hold out. I'm gonna hold out as long as possible until I get everything else done. I did get the, um, the, uh, the transmission, I'm trying to get, well, I got the transmission mounted up to the engine. I just have to get the, uh, see how long the dry shaft I will need. Cause I'm going to uh, one piece. The one that's in there is two piece. I'm going to go one piece, uh, either aluminum or carbon fiber, most likely aluminum. Cause I can't afford the carbon fiber one. And, uh, I need to fix up the mounting bracket for the back of the LE, uh, uh, six L 90. Um, I'm not sure how the bracket is going to go because this is not this is not a original OEM CTSV. This is a tribute. It's mostly CTSV now. <laughs> I mean, mostly. Uh, only thing that's not is some of the wiring and the little pieces here and there. Uh, but I have spent a lot on trying to make it a CTSV. I'm, I don't even have. I, I'm pretty sure I don't even have ten thousand dollars into it because I've just been searching for parts here and there. I even bought a whole nother car to get parts and I have friends that have CTSVs that was actually gave me some parts. So thank you for that. And uh, so we're gonna get this, I wanna get this going as soon as possible. I was hoping to have it done at least by my birthday, but I'm pretty sure that's not gonna work out cause that's only in a couple months. So I'm not even gonna get it done by then because I'm part still on back order. And I still don't have an idea what I'm gonna do uh, about the exhaust. If I'm gonna put the turbos down at the, the base of the block or I'm gonna put them up front. I still don't know, I still don't have an idea. I, honestly, I just wanna freaking stick them right out the hood just because, just just because. <laughs> just, just, just say ah uh, and just stick them out the hood. And well, let me just say, I'm sticking out the hood, but I'm gonna take the hood off. I'm not gonna cut that hood up whatsoever. If I go find another uh, CTSV hood, I will, and I'll cut that one up, but this one I'm not cutting up. But until then, um, I have some more ideas and projects on the Element, so stay tuned for that, because I know that you guys wanna see more Element stuff. And I got some good ideas uh, on that, because I'm gonna do something that I haven't seen on any Element. So far, I haven't seen. I'm pretty sure it's out there, but I haven't seen. So until then, guys, thank you so much. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more projects. Later.